Hi, my name is James Bark, and uh, I did the documentary photography course in Newport from 1981 to 1983. Um, and uh, I had done some photography before that, some wedding photography and some commercial photography. And I'd sort of been a keen amateur photographer and read amateur photography magazine and um, thought I knew a little bit about photography. Um, I was shown the details of the course and was very intrigued and, and soon realised there was a whole world of photography that I, I knew very little of um, and, uh, and wanted to get involved um, with. I, uh, I was lucky enough to get on the course and a year later um, found myself uh, in Dolphin Street down by the docks, um, a pub at either end and one in the middle, um, and uh, was out on the street photographing man at work as our first assignment or person at work um, coming back processing getting the china graph out working out where we'd gone wrong could you see their hands could you see their face could you show it to a martian would they understand what was going on in this picture um, interesting stuff there was a sort of competitive competitive element amongst the fellow students and uh, which kind of drove us all on um, but also, you know, a lot of sort of fellowship amongst the students and uh, and helping each other out. Um, so it was a time of sort of camaraderie and uh, and uh, kind of work hard and play hard. Um, the uh, the other highlights for me and um, things that stick in my mind were the were the lectures um, in the afternoon. Um, and there was a wonderful woman called Eileen Gibson Cowan, who. Um, sort of gave wide-ranging slideshows, um, bringing in Hogarth and medieval art and um, satire and all sorts of interesting things into a sort of fine art lecture, which she would then, you know, bring around to, to how it might uh, influence or have been an influence on photography and might be an influence on our photography. Um, absolutely fascinating stuff. and. Uh, uh, other amazing lectures are Keith Arnett, um, of course, giving a hilarious talk about um, some of his ideas around photography, um, which are very funny, a lot of them, and um, and also uh, uh, sculpture and art. And I remember him talking about doing a blow-up sculpture that filled the whole studio and how a prototype escaped across the Yorkshire Moors and... Uh, crazy stuff and you think what, what, what's this got to do with photography um, I don't know but it was still um, fascinating uh, and uh, and broadened our minds broadened my mind um, opened me up to the, the idea of fine art and photography um, and uh, of course David Hearn who um, uh, was quietly spoken um, but um, didn't waste words and uh, and uh, was always actually emphasising to us um, the um, great position of um, the, the sort of honoured position we're in to intrude into people's lives with a camera and how we needed to um, very much respect that uh, notion of um, being in people's lives and. Uh, just be do it with um, communication and integrity um, and um, and care and compassion and he would whatever he was talking about he would always emphasize those points and that, that's always stuck with me and uh, served me very well um, over the years um, and if you say you're gonna do something do it and if you promise someone a print make sure you give them a print um, or a download these days, of course. Um, other little things, Martin Parr would come and uh, he was just doing black and white in those days. Um, and uh, yeah, abandoned Morris Miners in, in Southern Ireland, I remember that. Um, and uh, of course, uh, Tom um, Hopkinson, uh, the Picture Post uh, editor, um, uh, came for a, a couple of weeks and gave us projects and that's just incredible um, 
to have that kind of history, um, living history, um, working with us. Um, I've got very happy memories of uh, my time in Newport, although um, at times it was incredibly challenging, and uh, and uh, and I've had a, a very interesting journey um, since leaving Newport. Um, but I'm still taking photographs, and uh, I'm still uh, I'm still managing to, to, to make a living, and uh, and and a lot of the reason for that is um, because I did the uh, documentary photography course in Newport, and uh, uh, I'm very grateful um, to David for setting it up, and uh, that's it. Thanks. <laughs>